so on Sunday, I made my way to the Woburn show, the sports card show in Woburn. First time there and made some serious pickups. I got a stack here that I want to share with you guys. Um, a couple of the cards are Cardi C learns to flip candidates, and then other cards are just ones that I'm looking to pick up for for my own collection. So we'll start off with a couple of Bowman Chromes, first Bowmans. This is from 2019, Bowman Draft, Andrew Vaughn, White Sox Power Hitting Prospect. This guy is a stud, top 20 prospect. As soon as the draft finished up, uh, picked up my first Mark McGuire rookie card, 1987 tops. Cards in good condition. Give a big old shout out to Ben from About the Cards podcast. Uh, and then here were just a bunch of sort of refractor chromey cards that I really liked the look of. <clears throat> Growing up, I had this RBI Kings insert from Fleer Ultra of Nomar and Derek Jeter. So someone had this in a, a quarter box and I picked it up. Looked cool to me. And then if you've seen some of my earlier videos, I collect these Nomar 90s inserts. So here we have New Breed from Tops in 1998. We got a hollow red star view from 1999. Upper Deck Superstar Spotlight. And then I was a huge fan of A-Rod growing up. My brother and I loved shortstop. So uh, we liked Nomar and A-Rod. Weren't the biggest Jeter fan, but we collected a lot of this stuff. And I'm pretty sure either he or I had this card growing up. So I pulled it out of the box. It made me feel nostalgic so I had to pick it up for the 25 cents it was and then I've been looking a lot at refractors which you guys will see in a minute but um, while I was going through this box I found a couple of Bowman Platinums this isn't anything super special but you got Lindor, Javi Baez, and Trevor Story I think I have a thing for shortstops so I'm teasing the uh, the big card. I'll save that to the end. We got a couple more to go through. But um, one of the dealers was selling 2019 update blasters for 15 bucks a piece. So I picked up two of them. I'm tucking one away. I'm trying to start to build up a, uh, a stack of sealed wax to hopefully break in the future. I had made a deal with um, Mike, Bay State Breaks, Mr. Dub. Uh, he had found this deal for me on Facebook. This is a Cardi C Learns to Flip uh, lot of cards. These Tatis Series 2 rookies. Let's see, we got five here. One, two, three, four, five. Picked it up for $30 six bucks a card i'll probably try and list them on ebay and see if i can get 10 plus shipping or 10 free shipping uh, and see if i can turn a profit on those guys and then we got a blue refractor of brendan rogers this is a bowman chrome card it's not um it's not his first bowman or anything numbered 74 out of 50 uh, the dealer was selling this for two bucks, and I just loved the shine. And I picked this card up immediately after I picked my favorite card of the day up. This 2010 Bowman Chrome Nolan Arenado Refractor. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see the rainbow shine in this lighting. It's numbered... 73 out of 50. I originally bought it thinking it's going to be a Cardi C flip candidate. It, But it's so beautiful that I don't 
think I'm going to want to move it. The dealer had it listed for 80. He, once I said I was interested, said he would sell it to me for 55. I talked him down to 50 and he took the deal. I was over the moon, didn't know why he was so eager. And then I got home and I started looking the card over and you can see it a little bit here. There's a little speck of dirt, which would probably stop it from gem minting, getting a PSA 10. But the big thing on the back, it looks good at first glance, but when you shift it under the light a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see that there, but there's a big crease along the bottom of the card. It looks like someone had taken the back end of a pen, put the card down, and sort of drew through it or swiped through it. So took what could be a couple hundred dollar card if it graded in a PSA 10 and reduced it to that $50, $60 threshold. So uh, this will probably be a card I'll, <laughs> I'll keep in my collection. Um, but if Cardi C learns to flip is is moving a little bit slower, then we might throw it on eBay and see where it goes. So those were the cards I picked up. Um, let's crack open this blaster. I haven't opened any wax in a while, so I am due for a good hit. Uh, in here, we're looking for the numbered parallels of the key rookies in the set. You all know who those are by now. We got Key Boom. Um, I think Arise is in here. Key Boom, Chavis, Will Smith, Mike Yaskrimski. It's been a minute. I forget who uh, most of the Chase rookies in this product are. But again, we're looking for short prints, those low numbered parallels, hopefully of the rookies. So nothing there. What I usually do when I open cards or rip open packs is I'll take a look at the code on the bottom off camera um, some of the short prints and parallels you can see right off the bat but some of them you need to dive down into a little bit deeper Encarnacion so we got a rainbow foil of Michael Brantley whole lot of nothing so far Cattell Marte we got a Pete Alonzo All-Star game. Not his base rookie. His base rookie was from Top Series 2, but we'll throw that in the rookie box. We got a perennial all-star insert of Ozzy Smith, David Robertson, Joey Gallo, Dylan Moore. Here we go. Here's a rookie card of Austin Riley. There's one at least. So I'm recording this on Monday night, um, January 6th. Today was the day that Panini released and started the auctions for their blockchain cards. Um, if you haven't checked out my video on sort of what I believe blockchain can do for the hobby, I suggest you guys check it out. We got a Kevin Biggio rookie. Um, there's a lot of interesting information. All right, now we're going. Mike Yaskrimski Mike rookie. And then we got a Xander Bogarts 84 insert. So this is probably the best pack of the bunch. Um, as I was saying, though, 
we had talked about what blockchain could do for the future of the hobby, but we had kept it um, pretty high level about Panini's platform because at the time I recorded it, there wasn't a whole lot of information out there on what their blockchain would actually consist of. And now that they're auctioning cards off, there's a whole lot of information to go through and digest. Uh, the first being they started their auctions off at a hundred thousand dollars and are dropping it down until someone goes and buys the card. Absolutely insane. I thought it was just going to be a straight up seven day auction. You would start at a dollar, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. And then whoever won the card would, whoever had the highest bid would end up with the card. But they're following the first off the line release and going with the Dutch oven, or not Dutch oven, <laughs> the duck Dutch auction format. And you started at $100,000 and you haven't talked to anyone. Looks like we got a gold. We'll throw this to the back. I see a Washington National. Hopefully that's Carter Keyboom. Um, you started at $100,000. Oh, speak of the devil. We got Keyboom right here. That's his rookie debut card. Yelich, Jose Abreu, Chapman, Ty France, Keuchel, Duplantier, Walker Bueller. Now we're hoping for a key boom. It looks like a key boom to me. Do we got the rookie card? All right. Key boom gold, numbered to 2019. This blaster was worth it. This is a 20 to 25 dollar card uh, comping on eBay right now. So as I was saying. Um, Panini didn't release any information about what their blockchain was going to be, what type of technology they're using on the back end. Who are they going to convince to spend $100,000 on this blockchain card, the physical card and the digital asset for that type of money? I don't know. I don't have that type of change to throw around, but... I would caution anyone against spending that type of money on a blockchain card when Panini has not done anything. Oh, and look at that. We got a rookie Arias. So this is a good blaster overall. Obviously, the hit is key boom, but we still got a pack to open. This is the 150-year uh, insert. Looks like it's of Trevor Story. No parallels, no short prints or anything here. Just the 150th anniversary patch. So overall, a pretty good blaster. We got the Key Boom Gold. That's the hit. But then for rookies, here's who we pulled. Arias, a Key Boom rookie debut. Bogarts is in a, a rookie, but a uh, Red Sox fan will add him to the collection. Mike Yaskremski, Kevin Biggio, Austin Riley, and Pete Alonzo. So overall, not a bad pack. Great show. Looking to go back to it very, very soon. And just give you guys one more look at this beauty. Let me know what you think. Have you guys hit up any good shows recently, made any solid pickups, busted any wax? Love to know what the, the hell you guys are up to. Till next time, I'm Cardi C, the baseball card collector. I'll catch you guys later.